What's up everybody? Welcome to my channel. My name is Philip, and today we'll be doing some unboxing for my NA setup for my S550 Mustang. Currently it's in the shop getting fixed due to me hitting a deer. So as soon as it gets back in, I'm going to install the parts. Well, before I install the parts, I like to take it and get it dyno to see how much it actually makes and compare the differences between the old setup and the new setup. The first box we're gonna start off with is gonna be this box right here from VMP Performance. And get it opened up. First thing we're going to open up is going to be these four performance 47 pound injectors. If you can't already tell, I didn't open them up. So let's go ahead and unbox these bad babies. Man, look at these little things. So tiny. The reason why I went with the 47 pound injectors is because they're a little bit more on the cheaper side. Right. Tuned on E85, and I am tuned by Lun Racing, and that is the very minimum injector size required. So I also have the throttle body adapter from VMP themselves. Very good material. And the next item we have here is the oil pump gears. So we have the oil pump gears from MMR and their billet crank sprockets. Open up is gonna be this one from American Muscle. It's probably gonna be the P mass intake. Tough-ass damn So I went ahead, took it out of the plastic since this table is filthy. So I got the tube, the filter, and the heat shield. The reason why I went with the PMAS intake is because it is the biggest intake on the market and Lund recommends it. Oh, that comes with this weird bracket. And what else does she come with? Oh, hot damn boys, got me some instructions. You know this redneck don't know how to install jack. And I guess this is the sound plug for the back. Ah, who knows, we'll figure it out when we start reading this instructions. Just to give you guys an indication of how large this thing is, I can fit my whole fist off in it completely. Look, 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 look. it engulfs my hand, man. That's some bitch I'm gonna bury to my damn head is. Next, we're gonna unbox these other two packages. These are from Viking. Well, I know they're gonna be. They're gonna, they're gonna be the uh, Viking Double Adjustable Warriors. The reason why I went with the Warriors is they're about 80 bucks cheaper, and I don't make that much horsepower. I'm probably gonna maybe make 420 with the E85, possibly. So I don't need the uh, other brand. The other brand is the Crusaders. I didn't need a Crusader because most of them freight at 600 plus, and I'm not gonna make this 600 plus until I go boost it. Or, yeah, boost it. That is in the near future. Well, here are the Warriors. Ooh. Things are very nice. Got the. Compression, rebound. Once again, these are the the warriors. I think compared 
These with the VMR drag springs, I think that 60 foot gonna get down real nice. Currently with the stock shocks on the car, dumping about 6,000 RPMs, and the car wants to go front, front, then go, instead of just mm, and hook and book, baby. You know what I'm saying? Last but not least, the big box. Alright, in this box is a GT350 intake manifold, and yes, I know there's a lot of controversy on the internet and the forums and YouTube from where VMP did the ultimate coyote intake manifold shootout, and the 18 and my eyes really did beat the GT350 and horsepower wise. But, but, in the port ratings, the GT350 got the, got, the, got the 18 by six pounds of torque on the very end, on the low, low end. And you're thinking to myself, why would you go out and spend $1,100 on a GT350 intake manifold when you could have bought an 18 for 400 bucks, saved $700, and bought more mods with it. Well, here's why. The GT350 pulls on the very bottom end and the top end. The bottom end, most definitely. The top end, uh, not so much, but it's still pulled on the 18. And when you port the 18, yes, it makes more horsepower, more torque, but if you port one of these, what's gonna happen? You're gonna make more horsepower and more torque, baby, I'm after the torque. Because as soon as I come off that line, I want all the torque instant. Right there. It's more than 18. It's going to be more noticeable in my eyes. In my eyes. So if I want to be the dumbass and spend $1,100 on a GT350 intake line manifold, let me be the dumbass and buy it. That's it, is it. That is the end of the night for me. I got everything. I'm just waiting on the car to get back from the body shop so I can go on ahead and take it to the dyno, dyno it, see what the difference is going to be. And the car will be dynoed on E85 by Lun Racing. So when the car gets done downloading on the current setup, we're gonna install these. So hopefully y'all guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the subscribe button and give me a big thumbs up. See you when I see you. Peace.